The government's artificial limb service has apologised to an amputee after it named her in legal proceedings when it took the Health and Disability Commissioner to court. Now, Checkpoint has been following the case since the New Zealand Artificial Limb Service, or NZALS, a Crown agency, launched legal action against the head of another Crown entity, the Health and Disability Commissioner, in December of last year. But it also named an amputee as a defendant, and after months of legal proceedings, it reached a settlement with her last month and issued a written apology. As our producer Michelle Cook reports, while the court case might be settled, the amputee's battle is far from over. Katrina Gatzel worked as a hairdresser for three days a week while volunteering and raising two children. She'd often spend nights out with her husband, mingling with friends and others in her local community. The fact she had no left leg was no barrier to a social and active life. That was the case for about 30 years after she lost her full leg from her hip down to bone cancer when she was 12. But that all changed 10 years ago when her prosthetist retired and she was assigned another one. Basically the man was just incapable of making me uh, a lump. End of. A prosthetist evaluates a client, fabricates and fits artificial limbs. Mrs Gutzel says her prosthetist didn't make a limb that properly fitted in the five years she was under his care. She's since refused to be seen by him again. She says it was never aligned, causing her to bend over when she walked and meant she always felt unstable, often causing her to fall. She has three physical treatment injury claims accepted by ACC and ACC has also accepted a mental injury claim, accepting psychiatrist evaluations that the treatment injury is a significant causative factor for her major depressive disorder, something she says the court process has exacerbated. The only time I leave the house is every two weeks to go to my um, counselling appointment. On that, I don't leave the house. I'm not comfortable. Um, it's not safe. I'm completely on crutches. Have now been for over two and a quarter years, and it's just yeah. I, I just my back just won't take wearing it anymore. The pain's just too intense. It, it's like I'm, I'm in prison. To be honest, that's how I feel. Mm. Mrs Gutzel's complaint about her treatment is one of two complaints about New Zealand Artificial Limb Service the Health and Disability Commission is currently investigating. As part of this investigation, the Commission obtained a report which it then released to Mrs Gutzel under the Official Information Act. That prompted NZALS to take court action against Health and Disability Commissioner Anthony Hill, who refused to comment for the story. All three parties reached a settlement last month which included suppressing the contents of the report. Uh, the matter eventually uh, settled and there's a, an agreed statement and I'm not able to uh, go into the details of that. Uh, what I can say, however, is that um, the New Zealand Artificial Limb Service spent $146,000 of public money uh, to... Uh, fight that court action and my client is really clear that it was a complete waste of public money and she wonders um, w it, she knows that it could be have been better spent. That's Mrs Gutzel's lawyer Martha Coleman who you'll hear more from in further reports this week. She cited $146,000 in legal costs. It was actually $164,000. As part of the settlement, NZALS issued a written apology to Mrs Gutzel for the distress it caused her and acknowledged the events that gave rise to the court action were not of her making. I asked NZALS CEO Sean Gray why the organisation named her as a party to the legal proceedings. Uh, it was a, a requirement of, of the process. Um, and so in, in this um, matter that we had with the HDC, uh, the patient was named um, in the the activity uh, that went on. It was incredibly unfortunate um, that that was required. Mr Gray wouldn't say much more about the court case, so I asked him what's next for Mrs Gutzel. She refuses to be seen by NZALS and has seen two other private providers, but still doesn't have a leg she's comfortable with. Mrs Gutzel, who is one of more than 70 amputees in New Zealand with full leg amputations, wants NZALS to pay for her to be seen by an Australian prosthetist, who she has confidence in after being in his care two years ago while visiting Perth. 
Mr Gray says the situation is a complicated one. The Ministry of Health would have to approve the funding and it generally believes if there are appropriately qualified prosthetists here, then that's where the treatment should be provided. In some situations uh, it's very difficult uh, and we have a, 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 an isolated situation where we haven't been able to get the right outcome and in doing so we will support her and her, her interests uh, as best we can along that journey. Mrs Gutzel says she'll never return to NZALS. You go into the website, they, they, uh, they talk the talk about how patient care is their centre of their most important thing, of, you know. They talk it all, but mm, when you complain, you certainly don't, uh, you don't get that. Basically, I can't believe anybody would be so cruel as the, as the treatment I've had from them, to be honest. It's, it's just shocked me. Minister of Social Development, Carmel Cipollone, is the minister responsible for NZALS. She declined to be interviewed on this issue. For Checkpoint, Michelle Cook. Uh, Michelle will have more on amputees and the New Zealand Artificial Limb Service, the NZALS, on Checkpoint later in the week. We would love to hear from people who have had experience of the NZALS. Text us 2111 or email checkpoint at radioNZ.co.nz.